Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Oh. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, 
We're gonna ride out. See if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. Me. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. Okay. Meet me out here when you're done. in there, Arthur.
Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Yeah. Find out what they're doing here and where Calm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. You sons of bitches. Where's Calm, Otrisco? the others at an old mining camp southwest of here near the lake what are you bastards doing why are you up here uh, we're fixing to rob some train gonna blow the tracks no, I don't know more than that I swear <laughs> well I would say it looks like you have this Arthur do what you want with him I don't care but bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. Please. Please. I, I won't breathe a word to nobody.
He's dealt with. Good. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Tie him up over there, Arthur. Okay, we mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on, it'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. You okay, miss? They came three days ago. They lost this man. They. Miss, you are safe now. You can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. So, uh, it's okay. Uh, get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Dead, but he weren't the first. Combe O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. We found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. <gasps> Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, 
He may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And he looked for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well... Seems somebody left. Recently. And... That way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. wall here. Davy got shot. Mac and John both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hard again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. It's not very wide here. Come on, boy. Horses are getting tired. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Now let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Where are you going? Somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I'd grab that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead?
okay back there? Watch out here. In the end of that, we're high up here. You're telling me. There's a drop here. Careful here. Watch your head here. Okay. Good now. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up here. Come on. Gap here. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. Moving then. Come on. John, can you hear me? John! John, where are you? John! John! Most! That's John! We're coming! Power's there! Come on! That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. <clears throat> Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. Uh, I'm sure you did. Uh, you all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. You see that on the ridge? Distract him while you get to the horses. Go! Draw them off. Okay, here we go, John. We'll leave them to Arthur. Oh. <laughs> We're getting you out of here. Draw them off us, Arthur. Well done, Arthur. Okay, 
Alright, let's get going before any more of these bastards show up. some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, not oh, this. Got a hell of a time. But Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. We should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, Starving? Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Come on, here we go. There we go. <gasps> ah, you <gasps> careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. <sighs> thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <clears throat> thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. If you and Dutch talk about how we're going to get out of this. I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that... that civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> We've been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess.
We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough nothing. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if there's game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. Yeah. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. 
We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. <sighs> Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <sighs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. some of the ground uncovered here. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. Here a second. I see something. There's deer been here and recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. The gun will scare everything around. <laughs> <laughs> 